Now, hey guys, welcome back to the channel, another Swiss 001 video, and welcome back to a hell of a video indeed. You will come back on board a very special plane. You may be already able to tell what plane it is by the title. <laughs> that is, of course, the Concorde. You know, you guys are always complaining about my videos not being professional enough for anything, because really all I'm doing is messing around in the flight simulator and experimenting around with planes, but I would never really do like a full professional flight. Today, I wanted to change that, and <laughs> yeah, we're genuinely gonna try to start up and fly this plane, the Concorde. Also known as one of the most complicated planes that there are, by the way. I mean, literally, especially here in the Flight Simulator 2, every switch here works, which is a little scary. And we pretty much have to switch most of these switches here for the flight that we're about to do, which is very crazy, right? And, uh, well, even though this video says uh, how to start up the Concorde, this is not particularly a tutorial because, just like probably you, I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm certainly trying to try to ju jump right into it and try to start up the plane while being a little bit somewhat professional. We, just, we flipped a switch there. It's probably not too good. And you know what? Let's just go ahead and jump right into it. Let's just remove all the <laughs> fuel trucks and everything that's <laughs> here. Here we go. Let's get rid of all of these. All the passengers are now loaded on board. All the fuel is now loaded. Let's close all them doors. There we go. This is all we need. Now I'm going to leave the GPU, the ground power unit, on for the engine startup. We're going to remove that later on. It's not actually required to use the GPU. I don't really get the point of it, but this is a professional flight, okay? <laughs> Let's just go and try this, okay? This uh, can be a little scary. All right, now, of course, for starting up a plane, especially like this, you always use checklists. I mean, literally, you always use checklists in any plane. I use checklist two in the small Cirrus plane that I fly, and we obviously always start with external checks, for example. Uh, but let's just pretend we've already done them here because we've removed all the cargo stuff and everything. All the doors are closed, which is nice. And so we can just simply move on to the cockpit and really pretend like we're all loaded up here. Okay, ground power. It is time to now turn on the ground power and uh, all of that is managed here on the flight engineer display. And well, we should see something flash up and that is exactly this one. Ground power available. Let's just go ahead and close that one. Uh, yeah, actually most of the switches don't actually say on or off. They mostly say close or trip because, you know, close a circuit and trip a circuit. Yes. I should continue. Main batteries on. There we go. Equipment bay cooling. Let's set that all to auto. <laughs> Oxygen panel. Looks good to me. Drain master heater. Right up there. Checked. INS 1 and 2 and 3. And that is actually the in-flight computer or in-flight system. Um, and that says select align, which means that we have to align this plane to GPS. Here we go. Actually, here are the three panels that we're looking for. The INS panels. Set them all to align. That's going to make this plane find its spot in the world. Now, right now, since the batteries have come on, we can see all the lights turn on. Literally, all of these are warning lights. Very good sign to start off, right? <laughs> this is all so old school. I have no idea what this does, but I'm just following along a checklist, which is really what this ma was made for. Uh, okay, power. That's all good. Emergency equipment. Let's just presume that's all checked and all good. Okay, and then it's time for the no smoking sign and the seatbelt sign, too. It's right here. Um, let's just actually allow the passengers to smoke. This is going to be a hell of a ride today. All right, and that's it. And we're already greeted with our before engine start checklist. We would have never thought this, but you know, we're actually getting somewhere in today's video, I think. I mean, <laughs> look, plane is already looking like it's about to fly off, okay? You really need a checklist only to fly this plane properly. And a lot of, well, what can you say? Patience? Because most of these switches here you have to find. For example, Master CB. Don't know what CB means. I'm guessing circuit breakers? Yeah, yeah, probably circuit circuit breakers would make sense. They would be right here. We cannot switch any of these. So let's just leave this alone. Cockpit preparation security. All right, what's our security? Seatbelt. We have none. Great. Mm. Oxygen checked 100% all. Looks good to me. DV windows. Is that the windows? Here we go. Nice. Windows. Close them again. <laughs> Just to double check that they're now closed. Or could that be like Windows XP? I mean, what was around in 1969 when this plane came out? Nothing, right? Oh, there's also iPhone. <laughs> there's even iPhone on this plane. All right, professional video, you guys. I'm just gonna say this again, right? All right, flight control invert system, I think. Uh, set the one here. Turn them all on. Make sure this is all good. Anti-stall system, auto stab. Every of these switches here. Great. Instrument transfer, blah, 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 blah. Altimeters. Altimeters, check. 
effect. And this is really just all the instruments here. <laughs> Navigation lights. Turn them on. There we go. Throttle masters should be right here. Turn them to main. Okay, ground hydraulics. This is probably for the nose landing. I have no idea what this is all about, okay? Just believe me, I... <laughs> ground hydraulics. And we have to set that to yell, yell. So do we, do we have to yell at it? Do we have to yell off? Off! Not really, it's just uh, that <clears throat> it switched to yellow and yellow, which is quite funny, right? Okay, now it's getting serious. Fuel heaters, which, um, oh man, it's all somewhere here, I guess. Oh, I found it. Here it is. Fuel heaters. Again, the patience part. Turn them on to auto. There we go. And the engine recirculation valves. Turn them on to open. I mean, uh, shut. Oh. <clears throat> now it's sh sh shut. Okay, great. Secondary air doors. Let's turn them on to auto. There we go. I don't know what the switch does. It just says it. Let's just turn it on and all that. Now the second part of the engine startup checklist here. Uh, now this is mostly actually about the navigation part. We're actually not going to have like a flight plan in today's video. We're just really caring about getting this plane somewhat off into the air and land it again. We're not going to do a full flight here. It's really just about the startup too. Otherwise, this video will be like 10,000 hours long. Um, So let's just go ahead and some what do this now since it says ready on the nav it's press nav um this is really just again the gps stuff it's i don't really understand it either <laughs> uh, let's set that to nav and have it all checked here again this is the in-flight computer and everything actually here is looking good it doesn't have any alert or warning light on here and it has our position here too so this is all good we don't really need to care anymore about this one the next up would be the asi bugs this is really just you know all the stuff here the instrument bugs we can set them for example here the fuel bug yeah great not really needed too much we can set the clock too right now it is 21 <laughs> gmt great and uh, that's all we pretty much need now here's the briefing by the way we're at sedona airport which has a 1500 meter long runway which is kind of on the edge of what this plane can do yeah but this is just only making it interesting right um <laughs> that's okay and we're just gonna fly off probably one one two and just hope that this plane at least starts up that's what we need of course in the first place let me actually turn on all the lights here because you know in all these planes it's always so dark so it's nice to see somewhat of a light in the dark too right there we go panel lighting great panel flooding there we go this is all looking nice now now after this briefing we have the briefing pretty much of the load we have enough fuel fuel remaining there we go zero fuel weight the loading limits the takeoff data you know what speed do we take off or how much run way will we need you know this is what pilots need to be good at when it comes to the math skills it's really just pretty basic math skills but it's a lot of math that you got to do in your head you know a lot of small calculations about you know what will our takeoff speed be how much runway will we need what happens if the engines fail okay no that's not all right now here comes the anti-collision light and for everyone who knows a little bit about aviation and jet planes when the anti-collision lights turn on then it is time for serious business because you know they always turn on uh, before the engine starts this is good and now we're getting back to the nasty complicated panel which no one really knows how to use next up would be the engine feed pumps and i think they're already smiling at me here there we go turn them all on all six of them clearance to start we don't have any atc here so let's just say we're cleared to start and now we're genuinely starting okay bleed air source available let's just say it's available indeed and now it is time for the start valve Okay, yes indeed, we're gonna start at the plane now. Okay, start, 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 start. Can we hear something? Oh, we can hear a little bit, but it's not the engines that are turning on here. Yeah, this is all okay, right? I hope this is good. Oh, there's some lights flashing here. I think that's normal, <laughs> right? All right, now it says here that the <laughs> the N2 here, this is the N2 up here, should be above 12. There we go, it is above 1222 actually. That's great, and then we should turn on the HP valve. Not talking about the laptop, <laughs> the iPhone. Oh, it's right here, I, HP valve. And I think the HP valve, valve is actually the uh, fuel supply now, isn't it? Can we hear the magical sounds of engines? We can hear engines, everybody. I don't, I don't think we should be clapping yet. Uh, all right, now, engine shutdown handle light. It's not turned on, that's all good. Uh, Debo is already off. What is Debo? If Debo is on, it's uh, to normal, so I think it's good. And I think our engines are turned on, everybody. I think this is already good. All right, now it should have reached 67% of N2, and we have to inform ground, uh, meaning that we should probably, oh, maybe our parking spot is a little dusty. <laughs> Great. All right, uh, let, yeah, let's go ahead and 
turn off the ground power unit or remove that. Maybe I should have removed it for, yeah, <clears throat> a little earlier. Aircraft, doors and ground, ground power unit, you don't need that anymore. Perfect. All right, now we do have some red lights. Again, we should always make sure to have no uh, red lights turn on. But uh, we're not done with the checklist just yet, right? Okay, cond valve. What is cond valve? Oh, it's right here. I found it. On. Turn them all on. Great. Hydraulic pump. Oh, and this is now important, of course, to control the plane. <laughs> Hydraulics, which is like right here. Turn them all on. There we go. Looking good. Electrical generator. Turn them all on. Electricity is working off of the engines that are running, I think. Right? Mm -hmm. Engine bleed air valve where's that now is that the engine bleed air there we go shut that down cross bleed also shut great now what we just did by the way was turn on all the engines at the same time which is not what you're supposed to do which is <laughs> why it says here repeat for each engine we should have done this step that we've just done for all the engines to start them up individually which is <laughs> a professional live video of course but guys i started up one of the most complicated planes that there are and it's i still oh there are some red lights here again i've said this is not good okay turn to normal okay that, that turns the red lights off emergency hydraulic generator ground bypass see we're not done even though the engines are started up of course okay that's set to ground pi bypass electrical ssb whatever that is paralyzation switch great let's uh close that shed galleys right here water heater here it is what is the is that for the for the passengers like tea <laughs> hot water i think it is okay <laughs> then Time for the taxi lights, which are normally right here. This is the landing lights, actually. All right, here are the taxi lights. Good. All right. And we've started up our plane. Now we're, I think, somewhat ready for um, pushback. Do we need a pushback truck here? Because it's just going to push us back <laughs> onto the runway. Well, I mean, that would be handy. We don't even have to taxi anymore. We can just skip that part here, I guess. Before taxi. I, I like how it says here. First check. Engine one, two, three, four running. Wow. I really wouldn't have thought that the engines one, two, three, four would have to be running in order to taxi take off no wheel steering i i guess that works flight controls actually this is important now um we gotta make sure that this plane properly flies all right that works pressing the plane down here you go the elevator yeah this is actually the elevator surface it's interesting elevator surface all come up and also the ailerons i think i have control also the rudder surface works too i think we're off to go just let's go taxi and you know what let's throw away this checklist i mean we've done a startup i can i'm an expert now i'm probably smarter than the whole checklist now all right actually uh talking about that let's go ahead and put that nose visor down and it's actually working guys we have started up the most complicated plane i'm just hoping now that we're going to be able to take off and have control of the plane and everything is working i mean we can do a little engine test here for power oh yes afterburners are working everybody isn't that great let's get onto this runway here let's try to do this all right let's get everything else ready let's get the flaps down <laughs> just kidding this plane does not have flaps so we actually do a little bit like a, of a of a circuit then we can come in for a landing here at sedona airport too after our successful takeoff this is like a little bit of a test flight but professional all right now it is time to oh my god taxi onto the runway we're not following the taxi line all right now on the runway let's take off full power we've got power indeed everybody airspeed building looking good 100 knots all right and let's come in and take off come on well that was an overrun well, maybe this runway was not <clears throat> the best choice of runway. Oh, damn. What's going on with the flight simulator now? Does this video now classify as like a failure? Because, I mean, I did the startup and everything, and ironically, the, <laughs> the plane just overran the runway and crashed into a mountain, which is uh, quite fun. But I mean, to end this off, let's just pretend we normally took off. Let's maybe try doing a landing then. See if that works in this plane. Here at Sedona Airport. Oh, well, it was a crash, and this is so horribly loud. So, yeah, guys, I mean, we did fly the Concorde. This is totally... It was only about the startup anyway, right? So, yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. And I'll see you guys tomorrow, as always. Good night. We're on YouTube, like, Block, Mubarak, Junk in the Trunk, Rafal, Old Man the Human, DJ Straw, Dilo, Tyler Park, Ian from Osk, Garkham, uh, Stefan Smithofer, Moritz Wilhausen, Tuppy Cook, uh, Great Crime but John, No to You, no, Larry Islama, Government Pasta, Calamity Airlines, Kelly Chaos, Philip Cherrier, uh, uh, Signs, uh, Mass Collegue, Rodolfo, New York, Oli H, Bliviation, Cheese Doritos, Shadow.